Hoki mai Arnold, welcome back. Australia's Northern Territory is joining Queensland in trying to poach Kiwi cops, taking out ads and coming here for in-person recruitment drives. Almost 100 of our police officers have now applied to cross the Tasman with the promise of a big pay rise and better conditions. Janneke Turellen has more. No one's pretending policing in Australia's Northern Territory is an easy ride. This recruitment video amps up the drama, chasing suspects in one of the country's most disadvantaged areas. This is going to be the fittest bloke to chase today. Northern Territory has joined Queensland in actively recruiting Kiwi cops. They've even been in Auckland this weekend holding a hiring expo and doing face-to-face -face interviews. Do you not feel bad about taking out cops because we need them? Yeah, look, uh, and, and this is a... Uh... A worldwide problem, we, we all need police. That's a no then. Australia. An Australian recruiter told AM77 Kiwi officers have applied to work for Queensland Police, while 19 have made it through to the advanced stages of application in the Northern Territory. We've spoken to a Kiwi police officer engaged in a recruitment process with Queensland Police right now. They told me they feel crushed by the cost of living here and would be looking at a pay rise of more than 20% to jump on a plane and work in Oz. It certainly looks enticing. Starting salaries are 93 to 108,000 Australian dollars. Overtime is paid at time and a half or double. There's none here. Rent is free or you get an allowance of nearly $30,000 on top of your salary. And there's more annual leave, a minimum of seven weeks. Contrast that with pay here. A current constable starting will have a base salary of about 67000 but it would take him 20 years to get to approximately 100000 There is a slightly boosted pay offer on the table right now. It's about $4,000 uh, in two instalments, so 4000 plus 4000 But the deal's in arbitration as the vast majority of officers voted it down and some called it insulting. We have had a track record of increasing police pay, 33% under our government. All right. And, you know, let's get back around the bargaining table. Would National pay police more? Well, I'm just not going to be drawn uh, on pay at all. We'll, we'll have that. If we're successful, we're campaigning hard. As an incoming government, October 14, we'll have more to say. Police Minister Ginny Anderson declined an interview today, but told us attrition for police here in New Zealand is 4.4%, much lower than other public sector agencies. And if re-elected, we'll add another 300 police to the front line. Here's hoping we can hold on to them. Yannicka Turrell in News Hub.